Welcome back to my Angel's Realizing tutorial. In this video, we are going to study about the hospital. So here we will study about the hospital types and classification and organization and the functions. Okay, let's see the meaning of hospital. The meaning of hospital, which is derived and originated from the word is hospice and also here that this comes from the French word we can call it is a hospital. Its word is called a hospice. So we can it is a English word originating from that word we can call it's a hospice. Now also some be that it is comes from the French word is called a hospital. So we can call it is hospice or hospital. All these institutions are meant for treating their client although the style may be different. So what is the purpose here to treat the client? And it will be different way. As we know, uh, it is in the government hospital and private hospital and they are treating the patient in a different way. So that is what is that what they are doing here? They are treating the client but it, uh, their style or their pattern will be different. Now the hospital means is the establishment of the temporary space occupied by the sick or injured. Okay, so here the uh, so what is the meaning of that? The hospital means they will give the establishment of the temporary space occupied by the sick or injured people. So they will give the space and they will uh, allow them to stay in the hospital and give them the treatment. So that is the meaning of hospital so the word originated from the this one word is called hospital and the french word we can call it is a hospital the meaning that there they will treat in the client although the style may be different okay so next is a according to who so what is the definition of hospital so we should understand the uh, definition of who so what they formulate or what they develop uh, so define the hospital in their way okay so here is the hospital is the integral part of the med medical and social organization so what is that integral part of the uh, medical and social organization which is to provide for the population complete health care both creative and preventive who's out who's out the patient service reach out into the family in its home environment the hospital is also the center for training of health health workers and for a biosocial research okay so you have to buy heart this uh, definition so this is very important definition same like that who they formulate the definition for the health so these all the uh, definitions is very important you should buy heart so what is saying that here it's an integral part of the medical and social organization. Yes, so the society. So we need the hospital. Same like that, the medical field. The hospital is the main integral part. And what they will do is provide the population complete health care. So they will give the what more uh, uh, health care for the population. So they won't uh, neglect the people. We won't give the care to the poor people. It won't be like that. They will give the complete health care and both curative and preventive. And it will be cure the disease and preventive. And those out of the patient we, uh, services reach in out in the family in its home environment. Same like the home environment. But we couldn't assure that it will be completely home uh, environment. So as much they will try to uh, make the patient in a uh, home home field okay so the hospital also center for training of health workers and for the biosocial research so that is a training for the health workers so we we can say that it's it's the training for the nurses training for the doctors training for the uh, other uh, paramedical students so the all the other medical students uh, kind of students students will be there so that is a training for them and uh, for the biosocial research okay so we will conduct the research so maybe nursing people or medical people they will conduct the research so this is called the hospital so you have to buy hard this definition and one more definition so which is very small compared to who so that is the state man's medical visionary they have given so this also you can study but mainly you should concentrate on the who so that is a very important 
definition. So here, Stillman's uh, the medical dictionary they say that what is a hospital? It is an institution for cure, care, and treatment of the sick and wounded for the study of disease and for training of nurses and doctors. So, so here is the institution for the cure, care, and treatment of the sick and wounded for the study of disease and for the treating of the nurses and doctors. Cure treatment uh, for the uh, sick people and it is a study for the training for the nurses and doctors. Okay, this is a small definition regarding the hospital. Okay, let's move to the classification of hospital. So, we can classify the hospital in a different criteria. Okay, let's see one. So, hospital have been classified in many ways in different types depends upon the different criteria. Okay. So, the most commonly accepted criteria for the classification of mo modern hospital are according to, as we know. So, if I am asking the questions to you, to, how many types of hospital do you know? Okay. So, you, you may say that it's maybe a government hospital, private hospital, or some other authority organization, railway hospital, something like that you guys know. So, this, that is the types. Okay. As uh, normal people know. But in our field, it's a nursing field, so we should know the criteria. According to the criteria, we can classify the hospital. So here, mainly seven uh, classification, sorry, seven criteria will be there. Okay, let's see one by one. First one is the length of stay of patient. Okay, so length of stay of the patient. And second one is the clinical bias. And third is object is and fourth is size and fifth is system of medicine and sixth is ownership and control by us and seven is management. So these are the seven criteria. According to these seven criteria, we can classify the hospital into um, uh, different categories. Okay, let's see what by what. Okay. So, first one we have seen that that is classification according to the study of patients, sorry, stay of patients. Okay, so mainly, so we can classify according to the stay, length of stay of patients. So, how long patient will be staying in the hospital? According to that, we can classify the hospital into two. So, that is the short term, okay, short term and long term. So, as you know here, okay. So, here it's a short term and long term. So, short term means what? So, short term means uh, uh, a patient says, uh, patient says for a short time in a hospital for treatment of disease such as pneumonia, peptic ulcer, etc. So, so, patient will be staying in the hospital for a short time. Okay, maybe three months or six months. Within the six months, he will be uh, cure. He will get cure and he will discharge the hospital. So we can call it the short time. Okay, so it's for a short time. It may, it may be like or a small uh, fever or not fever. Uh, fever. Maybe it's you know, like a pneumonia or peptic ulcer. So these are all we can consider that is short time. So patient stays for the short time. You can write here in a one word. Patient stays for a short time in a hospital so we can call it as short term okay so you can mention here uh, the example pneumonia peptic ulcer so next one is the long term so long time a patient stay in a hospital for a long time as we know so long time the patient will be staying for maybe an is there any cancer or leprosy or is there any uh, chronic disease maybe is there an edc something like that Okay, so here the patient stays in the hospital for a long time. So, for the treatment of disease such as the leprosy and cancer. So, that we can call. Okay, so that is a long time. So, length of stay of patient. Uh, so, we have seen the two types. Okay. Then, here according to long time and short time, we can call it as chronic care hospital and acute care hospital. So, the long term we can call it is a chronic care hospital and short term we can call it, it is the acute care hospital okay so let's move to the clinical bias okay so we have seen here the clinical bias and 
according to the clinical bias how they classify the hospital okay so these are the licensed hospital and are considered as a general hospital treat all kind of disease major forms of treating conditions such as heart disease and cancers cancer disease okay so it is a licensed hospital okay so in that license the hospital i hope you guys is known about the general hospital general hospital means what so they are in that hospital uh, those hospital will treat all kind of disease okay which which is not like a uh, like uh, uh, so what will we say that it's a uh, uh, particular disease okay there they will treat the all kind of disease so that we can call, call it as a clinical bias okay next move to the ownership and according to the ownership okay so ownership on the basis or uh, ownership we can classify in the four uh, uh, sorry four classification first one is a public hospital and second one is a voluntary hospital and third one is a private hospital and fourth is cooperative hospital okay so public hospital as we know so all the people they will can voluntary hospital means uh, so their ownership will be so one, one thing is public hospital ownership will be will be by the government okay so voluntary hospital some is there any some like authority will be there some other authority or management something will be there okay and the private also is like private charitable there is a management something it is there then you can mention this that's enough and the cooperative means some management will be there so there is a group of people they will be held by the hospital or they controlling the hospital so next one is the classification according to the objectives okay so some objectives they have so that is teacher come research hospital teacher come research hospital is a hospital to initiate the college is attached to the medical nursing identity sorry uh, sorry nursing dental and pharmacy education so so the and the main objectives of this hospital is teaching based upon the uh, research and private health care centers and aims and pgmr chandigarh so okay so here so some hospital they have some of the uh, criteria so they may having like objectives teacher come research hospital so they are mainly concentrate on the studies and the research so they will initiate the hospital attached to medical and nursing dental college for the education and their main main purpose teaching and research okay so that we can see the example is aims okay and next one is the so that is a teacher so first one is a teacher come research hospital and next one is the general hospital in that also uh, second one will be coming uh, the objective second one will come in the general hospital are those which provide the treatment for the common disease and conditions the main objectives of the hospital is to provide the medical care to the people so so this will provide the medical care to the people so treatment all as we know what is a general hospital will do general hospital will treat the all kind of disease and their main objective is to uh, provide the medical care to all the peoples they won't give any discrimination to the poor people all or the rich people like that okay and all this all district taluk phc is the example and the rural hospital also provide medical care to the hospital so that is a general hospital and third one is a specialized hospital okay so those are that provide the medical nursing care primarily for only a discipline or the specific disease or the condition on systems such as tb ent leprosy and std so have you heard about the specialized hospital i hospital will be there t hospital will be there sorry tb hospital is there ent hospital will be there and leprosy so kind of hospital will be there so that is a specialized hospital they will provide for the nursing care and medical care for the spe specific disease so that is the specialized disease will be coming under where it is the objective so objective we have seen that 
ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఇస్ అ టీచర్ కమ్ రిసెర్చ్ హాస్పిటల్ అండ్ సెకండ్ వన్ ఇస్ జనరల్ హాస్పిటల్ అండ్ థర్డ్ వన్ ఇస్ అ స్పెషలైజ్డ్ సో వన్ మోర్ ఇస్ దేర్ ఐసోలేషన్ హాస్పిటల్ హ్యావ్ యూ హ్యాడ్ అబౌట్ ఐసోలేషన్ హాస్పిటల్ అదర్స్ హాస్పిటల్ ఆర్ ద Uh, in which the person is suffering from the infection and communicable disease required isolation epidemic disease hospital in bangalore so that is a hospital we can call epidemic hospital in the bangalore so the people those are in a very suffering infection or communicable disease sorry infectious or communicable disease we can call uh, the people those in the hospital so that hospital we can call isolation hospital exam list epidemic disease hospital bangalore okay this is about the classification i hope you guys understand so if you have any doubt uh, you can comment here and if you want notes that also you can comment if you have any doubt you can comment below and i will be continue the balance in the next video hope you understand please subscribe and share to your friends or those who need uh, these kind of notes or uh, study material or the classes please share to your friends okay so i will uh, try to con- uh, continue uh, updating the classes like this for all the nursing students i hope you uh, students uh, which will helpful for your studies and thank you